Hey there, this is K4A Knowledge for All and in this video today we are going to learn how you can change image size in Autodesk Sketchbook software and as you can see on this thumbnail already uh, all you have to do is click on image then image size and it will open some kind of window with options where you can type in or copy paste the exact dimensions of your width and height of your image you want to export or work on so that would be the short explanation but uh, let's see that in uh, practice in autodesk sketchbook in a little bit longer um, it has to be a little bit longer because uh, there are some words in Autodesk Sketchbook and not Autodesk Sketchbook only which um, same words when you use same word it means different things and uh, vice versa uh, when you use different words they could mean same thing or same action and we will see that in a couple of minutes uh, also um, so far we have explained all of, almost all of those uh, tools in this uh, toolbar and uh, we're not going to use them uh, maybe one or two only uh, here for example zoom so we can zoom out to see our canvas our image in totality and move it left and right we can do the same with space bar on our keyboard but other than that i think we are not going to draw anything on it and we haven't used this menu in our top left corner where it says file edit image window and help you can click on those or uh, click on one and hover and it will open drop down menus for all of those uh, menus from menu bar but the one we need today is this image image size so click on the image then click on the image size and it will open the window of image size options for us to pick choose edit and so on and you can also also move it left and right if you need it if you uh, work on something so you have to see the drawing or whatever and uh, as you can see already we have some kind of width and height defined by default so it's 1920 pixels in width and 997 pixels in height it's some kind of strange proportion or ratio um, so maybe we should try to cancel this and try to create a new file new window or file new sorry document just to be sure that we have yeah it looks the same but let me check the image image size yeah it's always the same at least at this version of autodesk sketchbook i'm using so this should be default size of your document of your canvas on the screen and again it's strange in terms of most of you will not uh, need these dimensions so you will need to change them sooner or later the sooner the better and also it can confuse you in terms of what kind of ratio this is again that's just some kind of default sketchbook idea you don't have to apply it you can change it right away and the uh, whole idea with canvas and image document size is that you want to change it as soon as possible you want to change it before you start drawing why because later it can um, be harder and uh, stranger and more difficult when you change it or uh, try to upscale it uh, when you work with uh, raster graphics and that's not vector art you cannot upscale the document the canvas the image without losing the quality so it's better to define that if possible at the start then draw then paint and just then save the image when you're finished so in my case for example i can go with some kind of web look like uh, old school 800 by 
600 I will try that so I um, want my width to be 800 all I have to do is type instead of uh, 1920 I will select it or you can uh, delete it like this and type 800 but the problem is that the height changes responsibly th at the same time so okay now I will try to change the height into 600 but the problem is now the width is changing and that happens because all of those um, those two values are connected with this button keep proportions so uncheck this key proportions and now we can change the one value without affecting other that's very important and you will have to um, to uncheck this lots of times because um, most of the times you will want some kind of different ratio than a sketchbook gives you by default uh, that's it more or less for this uh, I will press ok just to show you now uh, take a look at this white paper white canvas on the screen how it changes and how it changes it in its proportions yeah so it's now more boxy like like almost square okay if I'm not satisfied with that one I can go for example like uh, 64 times 64 because I want to make some small graphics for my uh, 2d game again key proportions is turned on I will have to deselect it uncheck it then type 64 and now I will have really small canvas all I can zoom it zoom in to draw it more uh, precise but again the whole idea is that here now when I draw on 64 times 64 it will look a little bit edgy like pixel art or uh, blurry smeared whatever you word you use and the whole idea is that you're not going to um, see this art in your game zoomed in like this it's going to be like far away 64 pixels and it will look sharp so uh, again it depends what you need when you need if you need for example some kind of 2d art for uh, 2d game a small art in background or not important you go with some smaller square sizes but um, even then uh, most of the uh, studios uh, professionals in this also but all, uh, most of the uh, professional studios especially they go with double size so for example instead of going um, 64 by 64 I would uh, even though I need 64 by 64 in my game I would go with 128 just to double the resolution and to have more space to have more resolution for finer finer details and then I will when I finish I will save this uh, file this image and uh, save it as 64 times 64 this uh, way you have um, it's not necessary but it's just some kind of uh, precautious term where you have uh, a double size of your uh, graphics or to be more precise four times bigger because 64 times 64 when you go 128 it goes le uh, right and up so it goes like four times 64 uh, then you will uh, have better quality graphics just in case you need it uh, it's not always needed but for most of the studios as I said they go uh, mostly double size or something like that just to be sure if they later need more professional more polished look they can use it maybe for not only for game but maybe for some kind of media um, to, to put online or to do some advertisement and so on um, okay that was the uh, let me make new just because this image was distracting okay image size um, document size I will not go and in, in this resample image in much more details because most of the graphics I work 
uh, I uh, make in Autodesk Sketchbook is for uh, digital purposes, games and so on. So I use pixels, but all, you can also use inches uh, just in case you need to uh, have um, some kind of, uh, for example, you uh, work on some kind of art which will be published in a newspaper or on flyers or some kind of paper which you will uh, print somewhere else. So you need inches for, uh, for example, um, USA uh, measurements or centimeters and millimeters in uh, European measurements. So for example, again, if I want some kind of 50 times 50 centimeters uh, um, square of paper to paint on and print later, I would try to mimic, wi mimic it with this document size. 50 centimeters, 50 centimeters height, uncheck key proportions and you see uh, how at the same time as I'm changing this width and height, at the same time automatically width and height in pixels above in pixel dimensions go higher. So for example if I go, I want to go 500 centimeters, <coughs> uh, that would be like 5 meters you see how at the, at the same time this width and height grows instantly into some crazy amount and they even yeah they don't want uh it's yeah i have learned new thing now it seems that i cannot have 500 for height so i cannot have 500 centimeters or five meters okay so i can go for example one meter which is 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters and you can see how those pixels go wide and in width and height crazy uh, instantly so it's now 4000 pixels times 4000 pixels almost 4000 and my size of the document and we will talk about that in some later videos goes into 60 megabytes so the higher your resolution is the bigger your document size and image on the screen is it will uh, be the bigger in megabytes size so it will take more uh, amount of um, space on your hard disk and uh, it's also something to worry about again in terms of if you want to make uh, web games or mobile games that's why you go with lower resolutions and so on um, that's it yeah for this video again i will talk about this resolution later not to confuse you and maybe uh, some resample image uh, better uh, better examples but more or less the most important part and the most uh, uh, important part for you to use is this width and height where you will uh, type your values and uh, with these key proportions unchecked and that's it that's how you define the document size and uh, we will see in later in a few next videos uh, what else can you find and what um, problems can you find when you do that that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in uh, next one. Bye for now.